Matthew 6.33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. My message today is, why people forget God? Yes, why people forget God? For average person that come to God, and the reason why they come to God, they don't come to God because they need God. They come to God because they needs. They go to God. Yes, they come to God because they needs. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things can be added unto you. So you don't seek, you don't seek things. Amen. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. You don't seek things, you seek God. You seek God's kingdom and you seek God's righteousness. Those things come after, glory to God, you get in contact or connected with God. The Bible says, hey, glory to God in, in uh, St. John, the 15th chapter, if you abide in me and my word abide in me, you guys anything and I'll do it. If it's in the will. And glory to God. But a lot of people, they, they, they're seeking God for convenience. And glory to God. They're not, they're not seeking God to change. They're seeking God for cash. They're seeking God for clothes. They're seeking God for cars. They're seeking God for castle. And they're seeking God for credit cards. They go to God. But Matthew say, seek ye, Jesus Christ say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things gonna be added unto you. The Bible say, my friend, it's God's, it's God's pleasure to give you the kingdom. They go to God. Hallelujah. But a lot of people, they seeking glory to God, not the kingdom. They seeking the thing that's inside the kingdom, but don't want the kingdom. They go to God. Hallelujah. They seeking God they go like a genie. They think God is a genie. They think God is a Santa Claus. They think God is a sugar daddy. They go to God. Hallelujah. They think God is a crutch. Hallelujah. As soon as their feet get better, they throw the crutch away, just like God. As soon as they get the job, they go, they, you don't see them no more. As soon as they get married, you don't see them no more. They go to God. Hallelujah. They prayed and they prayed, and God give them their heart desire. They go to God. Hallelujah. And soon later, they get their job, they forget about God. Why people forget about God? My friend, if you don't pray, if you don't read God's scripture, you have forgotten God. Well, I say, if you don't talk to God, you have forgotten God. Amen. A lot of people, how, how can you wake up in the morning and don't talk to God? How can you leave the house and don't talk to God? How can you live this life and don't read the Bible? You have forgotten God. And as soon as tragedy comes, Soon as crisis comes in your life, you say, oh God, help me, God, help me. My friend, hallelujah, glory to God. I'm talking to somebody out there, you have forgotten God. You got your governmental job now. You think you have arrived. Hey, glory to God. You got your nice car. You think you have arrived. You got your nice money in the bank, my friend. You think you have arrived. But I come and tell you, my friend, hey, glory to God. The Bible say, my friend, the love of money is the root of all evil. The money, money can't save you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. A lot of people think that money can save you, but your money can't save you. Man. The Bible say, money have wings and fly away. Solomon didn't, didn't ask for riches. Hey, glory to Solomon asked for wisdom. And since God, hallelujah, say Solomon didn't ask for hallelujah, riches, I'm going to give him riches, my friend, because he didn't ask for riches. How oh, glory to God. What well, I'm saying to you, my friend, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom. Can we see the kingdom? Hey, glory to God. You don't got your heart on, on the stuff. They go to God. The Bible says, the Bible says set your, your affection 
on things above and not things on the earth. What he's saying, set your love on things above and not the things on the earth. Because Ross, these come in. Break in and steal where your treasure is, your heart be also. What you saying, preacher? Why people who grow forget God? Hey, they forget God, my friend, because they let the stuff get in their way. They, they let how the things get in their way. Hey, glory to God, my friend. But the Bible say, hallelujah, those things going to pass away. Oh, glory to heaven and earth going to pass away. But my word will never pass away. Somebody, you have forgotten God. Since coronavirus come, you you concerned about, glory to God, the virus, vex, the vaccination. Hey, forget about the victory. Hey, glory to God. You forgot about the Savior. You forgot the sovereignty of God. Why people forget God? I'm talking about you. You have forgotten God. If you don't pray in the morning time, pray in noon, and pray at night, then, then you'll pray three times a day. And we can't pray one day, one time a day. Hey, glory to God. Before your, your feet touch the ground, you ought to get on your knees. Oh, why? You lay in the bed and say, Lord, I thank you for another day. But people have forgotten God. As I said, you've forgotten God. Since you got that job now, you forgot God. Since you got that house now, you forgot God. Hey, glory to God. But the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My friend, there's no time to forget God. We need God every day, every second, every hour, every minute minute, every day, every year, every year, every minute, hallelujah, we need God, hallelujah, glory to God, my friend, we, we need God so much, my friend, he's the breath we breathe, without the breath of God, my friend, you be dead as a doorknob, I said it, in him we live and move and have our being. Hey, glory to God. I'm saying to somebody, why people forget God? Because let stuff become their God. I said it, you let, you let stuff become your God. You let your house become your God. You let your car become your God. You let your children become your God. You let your wife become your God. You let your husband become your God. You let your job become your God. Jesus Christ told him, hey, glory to God. Jesus Christ told, told the devil, when the devil tempted Jesus, hey, glory, to turn the stone into bread. Jesus Christ said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Hey, glory to God. That is amazing. They were seeking God. They were seeking the loaves. And Jesus Christ said, how to labor not for the meat that perish, but labor for the meat that endure to everlasting life, which the Son of God gonna give. What Jesus Christ saying, don't labor for the meat that spoil. Oh, glory to God. But labor for the meat that endure forever. What? That's, that's the word of God, my friend. Hallelujah. The word of God is better, hallelujah, than your job because God is our source. Your job ain't your source. Your money ain't your source. Water ain't your source. Hey, glory to God. The, the woman at the well, hallelujah, just told her, I got water, hallelujah, that you need to come back to this place, my friend. And the woman said, give me this water and just say, go call your husband hallelujah and then she say i have no husband jesus christ you have five and the man you have is not your husband hallelujah the bible said she left her water pot what i'm saying to you what have you left for god what have you glory to god left hallelujah and follow god my friend i call it up come and tell you my friend we got to we got to sacrifice to god oh glory to god we got to sacrifice because if you don't sacrifice for God, my friend, you will forget God. Oh, glory to God. You think you have arrived because you got a governmental job. You think you arrived because your mother have left you inheritance. But the Bible say, beware of covetousness. A man's life that consisted of the thing that he possessed on this earth. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I come and tell somebody, hallelujah, America have forgotten God. Yes, they 
they have. They think on the bomb head. They think on the weapon they have. Oh, glory to God. I come and tell you. God is better than the weapon because the Bible says the weapon of warfare, they're not carnal but a mighty through God pulling down a stronghold what I'm saying to somebody out there, you have forgotten God if you don't pray if you don't read God's scripture, if you don't praise God, if you don't worship God you have forgotten God oh glory to God, you make a vow to God, say God if you bless me with this husband, I'm going to serve you, oh glory to God. Now you got married. You forgot about her. Oh, glory to God. God. Oh, glory. You say, Lord, if you bless me this child, I will serve you. So you get the child, you stop serving God. What you say, preacher? You have forgotten God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. When you ain't got no job, you sing gospel song. You will sing it day and night. And as soon as God bless you with that job, you forget about God. Oh, glory to God. God. Yes, you have forgotten God. I said it. Yes, you, you, you have forgotten God. Why people forgotten God? Hey man, you forget God because of stuff become your God. You, you, you let idol. My friend, people don't have statue no more. They got the thing in their heart. Hallelujah. They become statue in their heart and they forget God. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says Demas loved this present world. Demas backslid. He went back into the world. Oh, glory to God. The children of Israel, they say we remember the watermelon eat and lent and onions. Oh, glory to God. And the fish. But God promised them a promised land. Flow with milk and honey. Land. The houses they didn't build. Oh, glory to God. God, my friend, is too good. He's good to everyone on the sound of our voice. But you have forgotten God. Why people forget God? You let stuff get in your way. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things going to be going to be added unto you. But when you see the things in front of God, you're going to forget God because the things become your God. Hey, glory to God. Hey, Amen. Let me, can I pray for you? Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, bring home backsliders. Bring back those that have a zeal, have a zest, oh God. Oh, glory, oh glory to God now. Oh God, they got they, they become complacent. Oh, glory to God. They let the fire gone out. Oh, glory to God. They become the foolish virgins, oh God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Bring them back home, oh God. Let them remember you, oh God. Let them remember, remember you like the church of Ephesus, oh God. Let them go back to their first love. In the name of Jesus, bless my brother. Bless my sister right now. Let them go back to God. And don't forget about God. Bless my brother. Bless my sister right now. In the mighty matchless name above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee gonna bow, every tongue gonna confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Bless this person right now. Let them remember you, O oh God. It's time to remember God. Oh God. Bless right now. And you stay up praying. Amen.